Well, here it is, September 2nd, or 3rd, I'm not really sure. Um, on our way to go scout some land. Okay, so we were driving down the road and we saw an elk. I made Dustin turn around. We're on our way back to see if it's still standing there. It was literally standing in somebody's front yard. On both. Did you see it moving? Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome back to Boom, Hook, and Hoof. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to show you a, a dough bait recipe for catfish today that is based off of flour, garlic and herb marinade, and cheese sauce mix from your box of macaroni and cheese. Just generic brands fine. It works. So, let's get started. I've already got my flour measured out. Here's about a cup of flour in here. Take your cheese packet. Pour it in. Now before we go any farther, I'm going to take and mix the cheese and the flour together. And if anyone wants to know, you do the same thing with some with your favorite seasoning and stuff in it. it makes a great breading for frying your fish in. Don't use the same mixture as you're using for your fish bait, obviously, but the cheese and the flour and then whatever seasoning you like makes up a great batter to fry your fish in. So now we we'll take the garlic and our marinade. Start with a little bit, mix it up, add some more as needed. I don't have exact measurements for this, so it's going to be a little tricky. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it runny, but you do want to be able to make a dough ball out of it. See, it's starting to clump up. You see that? That's what we want. Keep mixing. You want to make up a dough. Hence the name dough ball. Add a little bit more. I'd say we're getting fairly close to the consistency we want.
it might have actually gotten a little bit too runny at this point. But we still got flour and stuff in the bottom there to mix up, so we'll be all right. Get that in there so I don't make a mess. It's a little sticky. That right there is what you're looking for. Knead it around a little bit. Once you put it in the fridge, it'll harden up a little bit more. Let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours, at least. It'll thicken up a little bit more. And then we can take and use this bait. And I have another video coming up of how I use this stuff for my fishing bait. And how I rig it up. Drop some. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, we'll have another contest coming up here in May. Another giveaway coming up here in May. And I've got a review on the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0. As always, it's been a blast. I'm enjoying doing these videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching them.